we keep, we keep fixing the mic. I'm trying to get this perfect sort of bit with the mic. If I go, oh, no, no, it's fine. Nobody gives a fuck. Nobody gives a fuck. Nobody cares. Hmm. Feel like, uh, uh, is it walk like an Egyptian? No, it's no. No, I don't know. Theme for a great city's never heard that. 2000s. Don't know. Oh, no, 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 no. I thought it might be that, actually. So that's uh, Ravi Shankar's uh, daughter, the guy who was playing the sitar in that uh, Mon Monterey pop thing that I showed you. Anyway, 90s. Set a drift on memory bliss by P. M. Don. 80s number ones. Keep Me Hanging On by Kim Wilde. 80s. Um, can't stay away from it. Uh, I can't stay. No, no. Can't. No, no. What is it again? No, 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 no. I don't wanna let you know. What? I don't wanna look no shit. Don't want to lose. Dun dun dun. Glory like Estefan. Is it? Dun. It's no, um, it's not when Love Breaks Down by Prefab Sprout, is it? No, I don't think so. Um, fucking hell. I don't know, I don't know. Gloria Estefan, don't want to lose you. What? Anything for you? Anything. Anything. That's it. There we go. Right. Silly me. Silly me. When love breaks down. Does anybody like this song? You don't... See ho! When Pet Shop Boys... I think when the Pet Shop Boys were uh, at Glastonbury that last time and people were talking about it on Twitter she said that her voice along with some other sounds were used for the the wee synth sound the, uh, 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 and Heart by Pet Shop Boys Do you know about that? You just don't even know what I'm talking about. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You just don't know anything. You just don't care. You just don't know anything. You just don't care. So I don't know. Maybe there's a wee bit of voice that was sampled. Anybody know that song? Did they? Heart. Uh, 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 uh,
uh, Rage Against the Machine and um, uh, I'm into uh, what's that other fucking one? What's that other one? System of a Down. That's it. That one. System of a Down. Get to fuck. I'm in stereo on Radio One, which is quite why it's a. I'm into real music. System of a Down. I corn. 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 <laughs> oh, I've got nothing against them. It's just typical of what cunts like that say when they have a go at the pet shop boys. Think they're into fucking real music. They've got it in for pop. They've got something against pop. Pop music. Um, I'm not going to play pop music by M. What's that right good class? Uh, I'm not going to give you up. What's that right good fucking just fucking pop song? What a 80s stuff. Madonna. Uh, a right good pop song. Aye. Aye. A right good pop, so there's your pop there. That's your pop there. 4K video, by the way, it says. How, how did I? How did I do that? How did I do that so that they're just changing the colour while she just, she's sitting there? How's that done? AI upscaled? I don't think so. I don't, I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think so. No. That'll be filmed. And with film you can blow it up. Right up. Mr. Person, uh, Disco, Ricardo, Matt Fyler. I'm getting that way again. I, I getting like tears in my eyes. It's fucking amazing. Listen to the new Chemical Brothers album, mate. No, like almost getting a lump in my throat. Almost like that. Can I can he can he speak? L thinks the sub. If you heard that game called Immortality, I think you like it. I'll check it out. Like I said, Mighty Jam Core Son and Namara. Skipsky thinks the subs in bits. And I will stand for my dream if I can. This is my mantra for today while losing so many channel points. No, what but it's, Oh, who was the VIP, by the way? Cyan and Lee Manchester Squirrel and Pete thinks it's subs and bits. Thank you very fucking much, uh, Pete. Jin Ash thinks it's subs. And I want them eyes cream Remember the <laughs> remember the Frankie Valley scandal, everybody. Frankie Valley. Sherry baby. Sherry baby. So there's the original. He's a fucking double. He's the double of him for uh, the Star Wars sequels. What's his name? Ain't he? The fucking double. And about Al Pacino. What's his name? Isaac. Oscar Isaac. The double. 
Red Top, oh mein. Right, anyway. Live. Christ, that song is painful. You just got no class. No class. So, <laughs> here he is singing it live. I kind of like this, I, but that's no them because the seasons are for a lot of detail. You'd... Right, Frankie, go. You can see his mind, now hold on. There. Anyway. About a year ago, so about a year or two or three or five ago, I pointed out that, um, oh, uh, here it is, he can still, still do it, he still got it. I was like, is he miming? Is he no, no? Uh, no I don't think he would. And, and it's like the farewell tour or something like that. He wouldn't, he wouldn't be, you don't, he wouldn't be miming in a live thing. You get people, they go on stage, they're just not as good as what they used to be, but they don't actually fucking mime. And then I found a video, uh, mime, Frankie Valley. Miming. There's a singing corpse tour in America. What? TikTok is absolutely flooded with videos of Frankie Valley basically just dying and lip syncing. You little fucking shit. This is not a human. I, I mean... Whole life, whole life ahead of him. Whole life ahead of him. One day that'll be you. There we go, there it is! I'm revisiting the scandal. I'm revisiting it. In 2020, I'm fucking revisiting it. Three fucking years ago. More than three years ago, I'm revisiting it. Anyway, what happened was, um, you know, just to save you clicking on that, somebody managed to uh, get a video of singing Sherry, uh, Sherry, Sherry for this concert, one for that concert, another recording for this concert, you know, like maybe people have uploaded them on YouTube and overlaid them all. And you got that we ad libs, no ad libs, but you know, they got the, come on everybody sing, they're all different. But everything else, the singing is absolutely fucking identical. No variation. Nothing a wee bit later than the other. So unless he's a fucking android, uh, he's miming a lot, yeah. Lip syncing. Oh. Is this, I must have seen this before. Frankie Valley the four seasons before it. It's long been speculated that Frankie has been lip syncing shows for many years. This is another video with definitive evidence to this truth. Lip syncing or not, he's still great. Oh, fucking shut up. He genuinely looked like he's having a good time. No, I mean, he's still, still great. As in, you know, just a person, a human can be a great person, nice person and all that. But, you know, we're talking about in terms of the 
the second. Ah, oh, good on him. Good on him. You know what I want to see? I've not been able to see a whole lot of this, but I'm looking for ABBA. Lots of people say they like this concept. This is, I don't know who these people are. Um, you know, like silly shorts and stuff like that. Right, what? Well, that's right, we kind of go forward, can't we know? The hologram thing. I'm talking about. Right? Like, I mean, did it say something like... I saw this! I saw this! Abba. Voyage. Uh, recently uploaded. Why this Abba concert is fake? What are you on about? Uh, what's... what? Is that a joke? This ABBA concert. It seems real, right? Well, it's fake. Or at least it's not actually ABBA playing on stage. You see, these are three dimensional renderings of the band members. And it could be a glimpse into the future of live music entertainment. What? It's Look at this ABBA concert. I don't even think he's joking. Six days ago? Uh, no, I need to watch that. Look at this ABBA concert. It Look at this ABBA concert. It seems real, right? Is that a fucking orange gesture? Look at this ABBA concert. What, what do you mean? What do you, what do you mean? Look at this ABBA. What do you mean? Look at this ABBA concert. You know, get, get, so get your dough, shape your dough into a nice, you know, like that round, and bring it in so it's nice and tight. And then you, you take a razor and top it, and then you sort of score it like that. Place it. So that's got to prove. You stick that in the oven. This Abba concert. I go just hold on. Get a snowball. So pack a snowball in, nice and tight like that. Toss ice, and I can really look. Look! Look at this Abba concert. It seems real, right? Well, it's fake. Or at least it's not actually ABBA playing on stage. You see, these are three dimensional renderings of the band members. And it could be a glimpse into the future of live music entertainment. It's an expanded idea of the Tupac hologram performance from Coachella back. A fucking hologram. A fucking reflection. It's not a hologram, it's a reflection. It's like seeing yourself when you're looking at the mirror, uh, looking at the living room at night and seeing your reflection in a fucking thing and it looks like you're stoning outside. It's not a fucking hologram. Oh. Back in 2012, or Michael Jackson's hologram performance at the 2014 Billboard Music Awards. This is the ABBA Arena and it cost $175 million to build. It has LED. Absolute pennies. Pocket change to the 100k, throw 100k away crew on this fucking stream. Screens, surround sound speakers, and seats 3,000 people. It runs seven nights a week and has made $150 million since opening. And it's part of a larger trend in exploring new live music options, like U2's 360 degree immersive sphere opening in Vegas soon. All this yes, new that's... technology is a way for aging artists to keep their legacy going while also pushing the boundaries of what live music can be. With the success of ABBA so far, we could see many more shows like this start popping up around the world. If you have a curious mind for stories like this, Follow for more.
75 million dollars to build it has led screens surround sound speakers and seats 3,000 people it runs seven nights a week and has made 150 million dollars I'm, I'm going but i'm reminded for the, the the hand gestures opening and it's part of a larger trend in exploring new live music options exploring new trend in exploring trend in explore a larger trend in exploring new live music options like youtube and by the way i'm not having a go at him I'm not having a go at him. It's just a kind of YouTube, a YouTuber trend to be animated and you know to be animated. The amount of, the amount of videos I've seen, uh, like talking about um, how to set up lights or camera lenses or uh, different, just anything technology things or editing or anything. Like that constantly. It's like you know, you don't want to just be going like that. You don't want to be just sitting here like that. So that it gives a range of something, something. So if you want to, whether it's this or that or that, it gives you a range of options. So you might be looking for this. You might no, 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 no. Bring them up. Right. Here's what I want to see. Filter. Uh, sort by upload date. You will show me videos of people at the event. Right. At the fucking event watching the fucking thing. You will show me that. I saw. There we go. I swear to God, you can barely find a fucking single video. There's one. A fair month ago. They've obviously went like that. Nay cunts are allowed to use their phone in here. Because it'll look fucking pish. Right, here we go. So you've got them. Right down the front. Right down the front centre does they count. It's, it's really here. Looks really good. Um, what I'm looking for is what that looks like if you're to the right or to the left. Because remember, it is a reflection that's reflecting the. Uh, like a, I don't know, a screen at the bottom or I'm not quite sure exactly, but which obviously works if you're straight on. But what if you're there here at the side? It's naturally going to look not quite right. They've built the arena though. They can sit people, you know, they can, they don't have to make do with whatever the fucking, uh, the, the, the venue is that they're taking the, the thing to. I just want to, I just, please. I need to see the footage. I need to see it for the side. Because that could just be a screen. That may as well just be a 2D fucking screen. And I want to see what it looks like. I've heard it's a great night out. Um, what's the point? Well, I've, I've, I've so far not been able to make my point adequately. And I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. Because they, because ABBA Voyage, and I'm taking a fucking risk here. By the way, 
Dead by Daylight's coming right up. I'm taking a risk. I could get sued fuck it for saying this. But I just think it's astonishing. The lack of videos for people who have been at this thing. It's telling. I tell you what it tells me. They're either no allowed or see when they get uploaded, bang, deleted. The Abba Dome and Ab Careers. Agnetha became something of a recluse for a while, but she released a solo album in All you ever see is like doing the front and centre. Or right up the back. You never see somebody kind of near the front and to the side of it. I mean, is it possible? That That's what I want. See that? Look at that one there. Right, do you see how there's people kind of the, to the right? But I want them. Them. I need it. That looks like, this looks promising. This looks promising. Put that there. Looks promising. Now they're just all outside. Please. I need this. I need this. What do you mean three? What do you mean three months ago? This is this is videos of people who don't want to just go out. I went and it wasn't that good. Look at this! Show us the fucking police! D right, right. What is this? This is this. What is this? <laughs> um. You're never going to see it. They'll never allow it. 